Are you trying to tell me that you want to go put some wires on the boat? Yeah. All right, let's take some, let me give you a few more things. You need some needle nose pliers because they can strip the wires. And then wire nuts. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to connect. All right, I need to connect some of these diodes. So the way one set of wires connects, it just kind of goes in there and then, you know, you tighten this down on the wire. It's hard to get it so it doesn't slip out. And then the other side, I've got some little bolts and nuts that fit on there. I'll figure out how to touch the wire on that side. But first I want to do this side. Now, what I just did to one of these is I took the, the washer and I bent it so it's kind of bent over. Yeah, you can see that, so it's bent over like that. So if I get a wire in there, it should hold the wire in and not let it slip off the side. And then, so I'm gonna, I guess, you know what, let's just go make, let's connect one solar panel. Let's take one of these. One of those little diodes? This this is a little diode, and then one of the, one of the eye. All right, let's just see if we can connect one. Okay, so you're saying you want these, the thicker wires, yeah. not the thinner ones. Looks like there's more thinner ones, though. Alright, you pick. Thinner, I guess. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, let's take the thicker ones. Let's right, I look up under here. That's the positive, and that's that one. I want to deal with the negative first, so that'll be that one. Okay. What did I do to my hand? Um, okay, I have that stripped pretty far, so I should be able to wrap it around that funny washer I bent and get it locked in there. Well, that looks pretty good. With the washer bent over like that it holds the wire in. Doesn't seem like it's coming out at all. Good. Alright, I have to attach my negative to here and it's gonna go all the way back across the ceiling down to that switch over there. And the other thing I need to figure out is how I mount this in a way that's not gonna move around. I guess I could stick it up in here, up in here somewhere. Well, let's get the electrical connection first, and I'll figure out the mechanical placement. All right, the negatives on this boat will be white, because that's what I have in 10 gauge, and I decided to go with the 10 gauge, not the 12 gauge. All right, let's see what the end of these wires are like, because it's going to define how I connect them. Because if they're really uh, thin pieces of wire that you know, are kind of like hairs, then I can't really bend them. But if they're a little bit thicker, that means I can bend them into shapes and they'll stay. Alright, so maybe, maybe I just wrap them around the screw. Twist them and then screw it right onto that thing. That'll be pretty simple. Maybe put a bit of Vaseline around there just to keep corrosion off it. Well, looks pretty good. I'm about at least five or six percent sure I connected this the right direction. If it's connected the right direction, if I touch this screw to this, it should spark a little. Even there's not much sun right now. Yeah, a little spark. I see the spark. All right, pretty sure I did that right. Yeah, I'm here to see. <laughs> all right, all right, come over. I can see. See a little spark? Oh, yeah. Okay, spark. now I want to mount somewhere, hold this and hold this so that neither wire is bending the connections here. So maybe I'll, I don't know. I'll figure out how to connect them up there somewhere. All right, if I put a zip tie right here, well, that should all be fine, and maybe I'll do another connection back here. But right now, if I just put a zip tie right there. But I don't want to waste a zip tie just on this wire, because the positive is going to come through the same spot. So let's connect the positive wire and figure out how to do it. I have some shrink wrap tubing. And I'm thinking... I strip this pretty far, strip the other wire pretty far, twist the crap out of them, get them really good connected and then shrink wrap over the whole thing. 
Alright, my shrink wrap tubing here does not fit over the black part because this is double insulated, but fits over the white part. Okay, good enough. Alright, that's twisted together pretty good. And then I'm going to take a little piece of stainless steel and I'm going to crimp it over the whole thing and just hold it together. And I've already got my shrink wrap tubing on there. You always got to put that in before. Alright, that is a mighty good connection right there. This is just a little square of stainless steel like cut off some something. All right, now I need a, a lighter for about four and a half seconds and that should be good. Heat, oh, heat shrink tubing, you just heat it up with a little, little lighter and it shrinks. You see it's gonna shrink. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, now there is a good connection. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now you should go get some zip ties and start connecting it up through the I ceiling. Help you get some so over zip ties. There. Me? Well, I still need to tuck my wires in and stuff. However, I've got four solar panels connected, and I just connected four right to this first thing. Because I can definitely switch into four solar panels to the motor without it being too much of a lurch. And I really wish there was some sun right now. Oh, mighty overcast. Because I would love to know if the motor works. It's connected, it's got wires. It's connected right in. And this has enough electricity to make a tiny little spark. So I know there's electricity going through there, but uh, there's, there's so little, it's so overcast, I'm pretty sure the motor wouldn't work, whether it's working or not. And it would be really, really nice if I could get some sun for like 10 seconds just to check if the motor works. Because it should run on, on four solar panels, pretty decent speed. <sighs> and if it's not running, then I can take it off and take it inside and, you know, figure out what's wrong with it. I just don't want to take it in and take the thing apart unless it's actually not working, which I don't know. I also still want to cover up this diode and the one back there and the couple over there and stuff although they are you know out of the rain they're, they'll be fine where they are for a while okay hopefully this will be enough stuff to deal with whatever I need when I do what I'm about to do oh hold on a second aha Leatherman yeah thanks to whoever sent me this that was great yeah I'll take that guy with me too okay and a machete. I need a machete. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should just take my toolbox. That's what I made it for, right? All right. It's already got some stuff in there. I got it moving. Looks like we're fitting so far. All right. I better... It would be nice if we could get some sun, but whatever. Let's check if this motor does anything. Oh, it works! Nice! I guess let's put it in the water. I hope I can get some a bit of good sun to actually test. Well, this is not the best seat, but I will get seats eventually. Alright, let's just put this guy up here. I could definitely use a bit more weight in the boat to get the paddles lower, but I should be able to get some reverse. I did not connect the motors with this, so either do this or use a paddle.
solar panels connected right now. I didn't connect the last two because I felt like it was a little bit silly to connect them into the switch when pretty soon I'm just going to disconnect that and connect them into the battery charging thing as soon as I get that stuff, which I'll, I'll have pretty soon. Ooh, getting a little bit more sun. Come on, come on, come on. But this motor should run a decent speed, even just on four solar panels. If I can get a break in the clouds. Oh, we're getting there. Come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. It's so cloudy. Alright, we're getting there. the barnacles off the bottom of this boat and make it actually a little bit streamlined. Right now it's just like, uh, look at this crap. Yeah, it's just all chunky down there. All right, I'm tied up to something here so I won't blow away. Oh, and the sun comes out, We're like right now. Seriously? It doesn't look like it's gonna stay out long though, so whatever. All right. I'm gonna jump in the water. I'm gonna try to scrape off this pontoon. And then maybe flip the boat around, attach this side to the, the mangroves, and then do the other side. All right. And what have I brought to do this? I made this stainless steel scraper a while ago. And, uh, I guess I'll take my mask. All right, I'm going in. Oh my gosh, seriously? And now we're getting like real sun. Oh, come on. Oh, and only two of the solar panels are even in the sun right now. Oh. All right, whatever. Hopefully, by the time I get some stuff cleared off, there'll be some more sun to test this out. All right, I'm just gonna shut up and get in the water.
How's it going, Jamie? I want to blow my brains out. Oh, I've been at this for like, like two hours now. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to go crazy though. But uh, when I, as soon as I get there, right there, then I'm three quarters done. I just have the other side of this pontoon. All right. some pruny fingers so I went out there at like nine or so and it's almost three now maybe maybe 9 30 to 2 30 what's that five hours yeah most of that time I was in the water scraping so I must have been in there for four hours scraping away oh I need a drink <clears throat> just of water and some food oh I gotta make a fire and get some food going oh cold this is it's not often that I'm cold here, but I'm actually cold. Oh, okay, motor works. Oh, that's beautiful. Barnacles are pretty much off the boat. Oh, so excited about that. I was not looking forward to that job. And uh, by the time I was halfway done, I was like, I better just get this done because I'm not gonna want to do it later. Um, you know, there's still some religi <laughs> religious, no, there's still some there are still some residual barnacle, you know, stuff stuck to the boat, but it's basically smoothed out, and I'll I'll get the the leftovers, you know, later. Uh, like it's totally usable at this point. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's all good news. Good news stuff today. Um, I guess now I just kind of want to warm up and have some food.